Hello guys and welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to take a look at sheep and um, see if we can make sheep a bit more profitable than they already are. Uh, this is kind of a continuation of the video that I did a few uh, <clears throat> about a week ago uh, that related to pigs and the um, slaughterhouse or the meat processing mod. And uh, this particular mod we're going to uh, basically get into the linen business or uh, get into the fabric business. So uh, when I was early in my Farm Sim 17 um, experience, I quickly realized that sheep seemed to be, uh, to, uh, to pardon the pun, a pretty big cash cow uh, with the price of wool. And I quickly learned that it took a fair number of sheep to, uh, to get any amount of wool within any decent time frame. Uh, I think I started with probably 10 or 15 sheep and you know a significant amount of time went by and and wool was was very slow to come um, so so you while you do need a fair amount of sheep to get uh, any amount of wool uh, once you get that wool it sells for a pretty handy price so let's take a look at the current pricing uh, this is Cherry Hills and this pricing is on hard mode uh, so your prices will be very different. Uh, will be different depending on if you're on normal or easy mode. But uh, look right here, we've got a price of forty-five hundred dollars uh, per one thousand units of wool <clears throat> at the spinnery. Uh, this particular map has a second wool sale um, point, and its price is currently twenty-five hundred. So forty-five hundred is a pretty okay price. Uh, for hard mode, I've seen I've seen better prices, but uh, I've definitely seen worse prices than this. Uh, but we're going to take a look at a new mod that's out there now uh, that basically will take wool and turn it into linen or fabric, basically just fabric rolls. Uh, so let's take a look at the store. So once you install this mod, uh, which I have a link in my description, <clears throat> you'll go to the placeable section. And you'll find uh, this particular mod right here. Uh, this is the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but basically this is the um, building that will produce uh, fabric out of wool. And then also it includes this cell point. Uh, but there's one other aspect to this mod that is also included, and that is uh, these uh, linen racks or linen pallets. So you have to buy pallets, this pallet, from the store and deliver this pallet to the building. Um, so when we come back, I will be, uh, we'll be right there at the building and I'll walk you through the whole process. All right, so here we are. Uh, here's our placeable, uh, I'm going to call it a linen factory for lack of uh, understanding what, uh, what those words uh, in German say. But basically, this is where our pallets will spawn with rolled um, fabric. And over here, I've got a truck. Uh, here I have six of the wool pallet frames, we'll call those. Uh, they're basically like a metal uh, frame that can support four large rolls of linen. Um, they will go here on this trigger and be, uh, be accepted by the by the factory. Our wool pallets will go here and be accepted by our factory. And uh, we'll see on the side here, we'll see uh, wool pallets spawn here on the side, as well as I think the um, the uh, the linen pallets. So I've got here uh, a trailer load of wool. I got six pallets on this trailer, and I've got six pallets on this trailer here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop off uh, these two loads here at the factory. And we're going to see how much linen or fabric uh, is produced off of these six pallets. And then we're going to take the six, the whatever we get out of, out of the factory, whatever linen we get out of the factory, we're going to take that 
and these six pallets and uh, take them over to the sell points and see what we get as far as a profit. <clears throat> so let's drop off our pallets of our linen pallets and let's drop off our um, wool pallets. Okay. So you'll see on the side of the building our wool and our um, linen racks show up to say to show that there are that there is product in the um, in the building. Uh, let's uh, just position our truck here and put it into work mode. <clears throat> So let's take a look at our info screen. So our info screen is a bit dark uh, when it's not running, uh, but it's not black, completely black like other factories. So we have 6,000 uh, units of, of the linen racks. That's what the first line item is, is the linen racks. And we have 12,000 units of wool, uh, which is basically each wool pallet is uh, 2,000 units, and we had six of those, so there you go. We have 12,000 units of wool. And as you can see, this particular building um, does hold a fair amount of raw materials, uh, meaning wool. So we're just going to uh, to kind of hang out here a little bit. Let's speed up time until the factory starts, because I want to see how long it takes to basically make a pallet of, um, of linen. So let's just uh, fast forward time. Okay, so it's 620, and uh, we are making our wool pallet. You'll see it uh, kind of appear here. <clears throat> and let's uh, speed up time to 120. And uh, we'll watch this uh, display up top. Uh, each pallet, I happen to know, is 5,000 units. So when that uh, top rack gets to 5,000, we'll slow time down, and uh, that's basically how long it takes to make a full pallet of linen. Okay, so it's just under an hour uh, because uh, the factory was at uh, 620, I believe, when it started, and it is now at 717. So let's just uh, we'll just go forward a little bit more until we till our screen goes dark over there. Okay, so our screen went dark in basically one hour. Uh, we're going to use the game extension mod to uh, to just move this pallet. So let's uh, speed up time again. So we get another pallet. <clears throat> so if we put 12,000 units of wool in, let's see how many units of linen we get out. Let's see if we have any waste or loss as a result of our production. Okay. So we're at 5,000. So now we basically have 10,000 units of wool. <clears throat> and our screen has gone dark, so are we are out of wool, I believe. Let's take a look here. We are indeed out of wool. We still have uh, plenty of linen pallet racks in our inventory, but we no longer have wool. So 12,000 units went in of wool and 12,000 units of linen or fabric have come out. So there is no production loss. Uh, but also, uh, you're going to need a little over a pallet to make one of a pallet of wool to make one pallet of fabric. Okay, so two pallets of fabric is 10,000. Uh, that would basically be five 
pallets of wool will make two pallets of linen or fabric just depends on what you want to call it so for convenience purposes I have placed the fabric cell point right here at the spinnery okay so the normal the normal cell point for wool on this map is right here this cell point this is what I put down as a cell point for a fabric so let's take a look and this mod does put uh, the fabric here this is the uh, the icon it's hard it might be hard to see on the screen uh, but this icon is the fabric rack uh, there isn't a price for that okay this icon is the fabric rack with linen rolled up on it and I'm not really sure what that is if that's cotton I don't know where that came from I think that came with basically a part of this mod because uh, here's the two meat things from the uh, the meat mod that I did the other week so you can see uh, this is the um, fabric sell point and right now we're getting fifteen thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars per 1,000 units of fabric and each um, pallet is 5,000 units so that's that's a fair chunk of change there now let's take a look and see what our wool price is currently so our wool price is going up it's currently at 47.95 <clears throat> let's fast forward time a bit and see if we can't uh, Let's fast forward time and see if we can't make that price um, peak out. Okay, so our price has stabilized. Uh, at the spinnery, our price is now flat, come flat. It's no longer climbing. It is at $7,274 per 1,000 units. And each wool pallet is 2,000 units. Um, but our price for fabric is still steady at $15,830. Uh, so, while our price was a fairly low $4,000, I think, when it started, it climbed to $5,000, and now it's at seven. dollars So, based on that, our fabric is still um, about, let's, uh, let's drop this, uh, let's pick the right thing. So, still, even at the very high price of... Of seven thousand dollars which I would take any day of the year uh, on hard mode our linen or our fabric is still twice as profitable uh, as the wool so there you have it uh, this is one way you can make wool um, or sheep far more profitable and given the fact that it takes so long to make wool uh, you need to be trying to get as much money out of those uh, out of those buggers as you can. Uh, they're some of the cheapest animals to have on the map as far as simply just needing grass and water. Um, as a byproduct, I think their their wool takes a long time to make, kind of to balance out the uh, the economy there. So let's, uh, let's put this mod in place and you will double, if not triple, uh, your, your take on wool. So let's see what we get off of the 12,000 units of fabric. We're almost done. All right, we have $189,000 off of six pallets of wool, basically. And all we had to do was wait, um, what, two and a half hours uh, for that to process. Now let's sell our wool and see what we get. definitely takes a while to sell this wool
So while we wait on that, if there's any other types of mods or production facilities or anything else you'd like to see me do a how-to video on, uh, please just leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to, uh, to try to check that out and uh, satisfy any requests that we might have. Alright, so $87,000 in wool, um, just from wool. So basically we, we netted an extra $100,000 by just uh, putting down our wool plant uh, back there and uh, running our wool through the, uh, the factory and getting linen. So, until next time, happy farming.